Shalom. Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahweh Shai. Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahweh Shai. Rakata Yahweh. Rakata Yahweh Shai. Ahalah Yim La Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Raha Hakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole fully let. It's the brother Isaiah with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Raha Hakudash. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right. And uh, I just want to do this quick lesson on don't be afraid or uh, bugged out by the spiritual side of this truth. OK. And, uh, you know, this is just a topic I want to go into because, you know. As we get closer and closer to the salvation of the elect, all right, to the destruction of the two thirds and the heathen. All right, what's going to happen is you have Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to show more and more supernatural works. Okay, and there are many different situations wherein, all right, angels, okay, and different spirits, all right, interacted with men of the Lord. Okay, and you can't be bugged out by these things happening. You have to understand that these were a natural, a common occurrence. All right, whether it was angels speaking to men or ministering unto men or whether you have demons uh, interacting and ministering unto not ministering, but interacting diff uh, with different men. All right. And there's there's quite a few examples of this. Uh, let's get this one. See if this, I don't know if it's going to bring it up. Well, this happened to you. How was I? Matthew 4.11 says, Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. So angels came and, and uh, helped Yahweh Shai after he had fasted and uh, was tempted of the devil. All right. Now, there was a particularly another situation where he said, uh, All right. So there's this one. First Kings 19. OK. And. Uh, this happened to Elijah. First Kings 19 and five. And as he lay slept under a juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, arise and eat. And he looked and behold, there was a cake bacon on the coals and a cruise of water at his head. And he did eat and drink and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat, because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat 40 days and 40 nights unto Horeb, the mount of the Most High. So this is another example. Now, it doesn't say that the angel showed himself unto him. It just says that the angel touched him. The angel physically touched him. OK, and there was food there in front of him. That is a supernatural act. OK, this is something that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai does. All right. So we can't get bugged out by these acts of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So that's one. Uh, there's another one, too. I'm not going to get into that one. I'm going to get this one here. Uh, if I can remember exactly how to get to it, which, you know, we got a few classics pulled up. I haven't even touched on yet. But uh, let's go here to the Book of Tobit. All right. We should know about this one in the Book of Tobit, right? I don't know exactly when it comes in. Okay, being grieved, committed money, bothered, boom, 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 boom. Right, okay, so, so this guy said his name is Azarias. Okay, which he was an angel, okay? And let me see where it says it in the previous chapter, chapter. Uh, to Potobi before and Salakia. Boom. Brethren, give that bread. Yeah, yeah, Khan. Toby 5 and um, 4 says, Therefore, when he went to seek a man, he found Raphael that was an angel. Okay, but he knew not. And said unto him, Canst thou go with me to Rages? And knowest thou those places well? To whom the angel said, I will go with thee. And I know the way well, for I have lodged with our brother 
Gabriel, you see? And Tobiah said unto him, Tarry for me till I tell my father. Then he said unto him, Go and tarry not. So he went in and so on and so forth. Now as we go down, he, he saluted uh, his father Tobit. Okay. And when he told him his name, verse 12, he then said he, I am Azarias, the son of Ananias, the great and of thy brethren. And see that word Azarias or Azariah or Lazarus, they're all variations of the word Izar, which means to help. So Raphael was sent there under the alias of Azariah or Azarias in order to help Tobias on his journey. So you had an actual angel walking with Tobias on his mission. See? So we can't get bugged out when these things start happening. When an angel walk up to you or, or, or brothers and be like this, that, and the other, and the angel get that brother a message and, and now he got to go share it with you. Okay. Now there's different protocols. You know, the scriptures say, try the spirit by the spirit. Okay. To believe not every spirit. Okay. But see whether these spirits be of the most high. All right. Or righteous spirits. But there, you can't deny that these type of things will happen. Okay, and even when you go furthermore into this story, all right, just to give you the there's right hand in here and then there's left hand in here, right? So when you go with this, uh, now you go and then you learn more about the left hand, right? The left hand is that spirit that was uh, following after uh, the woman, man, which her name, I think her name was Sarah. It's a lot here. Fear not, saying fear unless he be dead. Boom. Both to sleep. All right, so let me go back before that, right? Sarah met them. Okay. Boom, boom. Boom, right? Eat, drink. Salakia. So yeah, here it goes. All right, so it's really going to probably say it. In, oh, it says it in five, I guess. Boom, boom. So there was an angel, or no, there was a demon that was following after uh, the woman, okay? Here it goes. Uh, Tobit 6, so like you for that. Tobit 6 and... Uh, uh, Boom, boom. Seven. And he said unto him, touching the heart and the liver, if a devil or an evil spirit trouble any, we must make a smoke thereof. The man or the woman and the party shall be no more vexed. Okay. That's a prize. Now I'm the only father. Yeah, yeah. Verse 14. Now I'm the only son of my father and I am afraid lest if I go in unto her, I die as the others before. For a wicked spirit loveth her, which hurteth nobody, but those which come unto her. Wherefore, I also fear, lest I die and bring my father's and my mother's life because of me to the grave with sorrow, for they have no other son to bury them. So this is the left hand side. It was an evil spirit following after this woman and it loved that woman and it was killing the men. OK, that was going to be uh, this woman's husband. OK, and they had to go through a particular process of, uh, you know, basically exercising that demon by burning the fish and da da da, which, you know, we don't know how that works, you know. You use incense and prayer, that should work as well. Okay, just as well. So, you know, that's just going to show you, man, there's a whole spiritual side to this truth that you can't be bugged out about. Okay, this is this is a natural, normal thing. You know what I'm saying? We are spiritual vessels, our spiritual beings inside of fleshly vessels. All right. So, you know, there's be spirits created for vengeance. All these things are around you at all times. So it's not bugged out that they will eventually make contact with certain brothers. Okay, uh, who was that that was uh, <laughs> taking oh, there's one where Ezekiel 8 and 3 says, and he put forth the form of an hand and took me by a lock of mine head and the spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven and brought me in the visions of the most high to Jerusalem to the door of the inner gate that looked toward the north, where there was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoked the jealousy. So he was grabbed, uh, 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 a spiritual hand came out and grabbed him by his hair and took him to Jerusalem. All right. <laughs> you see? And uh, 
I believe there was another story where somebody was uh, teleported to uh, to feed David. Uh, I can't remember exactly where it was, but nevertheless, these are spiritual things. You know, there's spiritual power. All these things come through the spirit. I mean, even when you talk about the uh, uh, the Holy Spirit and being able to uh, uh, speak the, the, the truth in the scriptures. The scriptures say uh, where two or more are. Let me get it. Two or more Matthew 18 and 20 says, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Okay, so he sends a spirit in the midst of two or more, which are gathered in his name, to give them utterance, to put the cloven tongues upon them, to give them the Holy Spirit. To, I'm going to put this in your mind. I'm going to give this brother this, this uh, revelation. I'm going to give you this revelation. I'm going to have you say this. I'm going to have you say that. That's how the spirit works. And they're right there. Just because you can't see them don't mean they ain't always there. Okay. So don't get bugged out by the spiritual aspects of your how about you? Let's uh, read some of these, right? Maccabeus 5. And one says, about the same time Antioch prepared his second voyage to Egypt. Uh, and it happened that throughout all the city for the space of almost 40 days, there were seen horsemen running in the air and cloth of gold and armed with lances like a band of soldiers and troops of horsemen in array encountering and running one against another with shaking of shields and multitude of pikes and drawing of swords and casting of darts and glittering of golden ornaments and harnesses of all sorts wherefore every man prayed that that apparition might turn to good okay so this was a vision this was like spirits in the in the, having a war right above them you see so they was like damn what the hell you see horsemen running in air man all right that could bug people out okay but we can't get bugged out because we know about these things the spirit of yahweh is is allowing us to know of these things man second maccabees 3 and 24 says now as he was there present with him, himself with his guard about the treasury the lord of spirits and the prince of all power caused a great apparition so that all that presumed to come in with him were astonished at the power of the most high and fainted and were sore afraid and there appeared unto them an horse with a terrible rider upon him and adorned with a very fair covering and he ran fiercely and smote at heliodirus with his forefeet he kicked them. You know how they show in the movies where they be riding up to somebody and they kick their ass? <laughs> and it seemed that he sat upon the horse and had complete harness of gold. Or other, two other young men appeared before him, notable in strength, excellent in beauty, and comely in apparel, who stood by him on either side and scourged him continually and gave him many sore stripes. So there was three angels or three apparitions or angels that uh, popped up. And was whooping Heliodorus's ass, man. And Heliodorus fell suddenly unto the ground and was compassed with great darkness. But they that were with him took him up and put him into a litter. Okay. Thus him that lately came with a great train and with all his guard into the tre into the said treasury, they carried out, being unable to help himself with his weapons. And manifestly they acknowledged the power of the Most High. So, you know. This, this is this happens now let's go back into this left hand side you know that that happens as well man you know because you do have uh spirits on the left hand that come and they are you know they're ter you know terrible okay shoot you got <laughs> the most high controls both sides man and some angels are very terrible in countenance and in, and in action and behavior man job 7 and 14 says uh Matter of fact, Job 7 and 13, when I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaint. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifies me through visions. So this ain't the one I, uh, that I actually wanted. It's the next one. Job 4 and 15, Salaki. Uh, Job 4 and 13 it says, in thoughts from the visions of the night, when deep sleep falleth on men, fear came upon me and trembling, which made all my bones to shake. Then a spirit passed before my face. The hair of my flesh stood up. It stood still, but I could not discern the form thereof. An image was before mine eyes. There was silence, and I heard a voice saying, Shall mortal man be more than 
more just than the most high? Shall a man be more pure than his maker? Behold, he put no trust in his servants and his angels. He charged with folly. Okay. So basically this, this spirit, this angel came to reprove Job. Okay. And probably scared, I, I, I guarantee it scared the shit out of him. Since how much less in them that dwell in houses of clay, whose foundations is in the dust, which are crushed before the moth. They are destroyed from morning to evening. They perish forever without any regarding it. Doth not their excellency, which is in them, go away? They die, even without wisdom. So the angel came and corrected him in his thoughts like, nigga, <laughs> do you think this? Let me make sure. This is also Eliphaz, the team and I answered. So this is what Eliphaz was saying, okay? All right, but nevertheless, okay, uh, this happens, man. You know, the Most High sent a spirit around and it, it bug you out, man. You had a spirit correct you on some junk. Uh, it happened to, uh, was it a vision or was it a dream uh, with Joseph? Happened to Joseph. Let me see what happened with Joseph, which it may not specify directly, right? It, in a dream, okay, so it happened in a dream with uh, with Joseph, right? But you know, different things happen, man. May horses talk, you know. The Most High is far out, man. The most High is far out. So, like I said before, and you know, I'm gonna end the lesson here. Don't be bugged out by the spiritual side of this truth, man. You know, many spiritual things to come. We've only we've only seen a little bit, a little tip of the iceberg so far, man. There's more to come in the future. So with that, I pray you were edified. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechah, Padash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole for me. Like that, I want to say Shalom, my Bible, all Shalom.